Hi guys, it's Shala from That Girl Cooks Healthy. Welcome and thank you so so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sham. Some islands know it as chili bibi, um, some other islands refer to it as sham sham. Whatever the case, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious old school snack with a modern twist to it. So these are the ingredients that I'm using to make my asham. I'm using some coconut sugar, and I've added about a tablespoon of raw organic cane sugar and the reason why I do this is because although coconut sugar is amazing and it has so many nutritional properties it's not extremely sweet so by adding the raw organic cane sugar it brings up some of that sweetness I do recommend doing this if you want a slighter sweet edge to your asham. However, if you are diabetic or if you have high blood sugar levels, I recommend just using the coconut sugar by itself. I'm also using some sweet corn. This is some frozen sweet corn that I use. I just allowed it to fall out and got rid of any excess water before I actually use it for the recipe. Keep in mind that this is a modern version of a sham so typically you would wait till harvest time and use the dry corn and just parch the corn but instead I'm doing something different. I know that some people use hominy corn or they use corn kernels to make the asham. Um, I personally, um, I've tried it but it's not my favorite way of making asham because I find I have to constantly sieve my asham because it tends to be more gritty but um, you really have to see what works for you and just go with that. So in order to make my asham, I need to start by drying out my sweet corn. So I have my dehydrator set up and ready to go. And from here, I'm just going to add my sweet corn to my dehydrator and I'm going to allow it to dry out. Uh, dehydrators take quite some time to achieve the dryness that you need so this will take about uh, 8 to 10 hours I usually leave mine overnight so I have this ready for the next day to work with and I'm just spreading out the sweet corn and you don't really want your sweet corn to be overcrowded on the tray there so I'm just spreading it out so it has plenty of room to dry Now that the sweet corn has been spread out, I'm just going to put the lid on my dehydrator and allow it to dry for about 8 to 10 hours. So this is what the sweet corn looks like after drying it out. I think it took about 8 hours for mine to be completely dry. and. If you look at the appearance, you can see that it's really, really dry. There's no moisture. It's totally dry. It's bone dry. And that is what we are looking for. And we need this so we can move on to the parching process now. So now I'm going to parch my corn. So I have a Dutch pot set up here that I just heated up 
before adding all of the sweet corn and you want to make sure it's really really important now that you don't be tempted to have your heat on high i have it on medium there and i'm just going to continue to stir my sweet corn until it starts to posh it's going to take a few minutes for this process to begin so be patient as i said do not do not i cannot emphasize do not turn the heat up high or you're going to get burnt sweet corn and you're not going to be very happy with the result because nobody wants burnt a sham so just allow this to ride through and allow it to be completely golden as you can see now after several minutes now our sweet corn has been completely parched and it's nice and golden and this close-up here really shows you what you're looking for that it should have this like a beige type of color and it's not burnt so before you grind your sweet corn you want to make sure it's completely cool before moving on to that step I'm using my spice grinder and I'm doing this in batches but you know you can use a food processor I know some people use a mortar and pestle that is actually the old school way of doing it and I'm going to add my sweetener now because I'm using raw cane sugar mixed with coconut sugar and the granules are slightly larger and I want those to break down so I'm just going to add all of that to my spice grinder now so this is what your asham should look like it's nice and powdery and i don't even need to sieve it because my grinder is really really good and i'm going to repeat this with the rest of the sweet corn and just grind all of it down i'm just going to finish off making the rest of my asham with the remaining sweet corn um, as i said i don't need to sieve my asham because it is really really powdery because my spice grinder is very very good but you may need to sieve your asham depending on what equipment you are using so if you need to do that i definitely recommend going ahead and doing that but that wasn't the case for me and as i said as well i already added my sweetener but if you want to you can add your sweetener once the asham has been made and you can add that just before you are about to snack on it So this is what your asham should look like, nice and powdery, ready to be eaten. Um, this is like the jewel of the Caribbean. It's a forgotten snack or at least to me it feels like it. I've never seen it outside of the Caribbean being sold. So this is great for anybody who wants a taste of home and they can make it at home. And it's so, so easy to make. Um, the link to the recipe will be in the des description box thank you so so much for watching this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates on when i upload my recipes